is everyone doing? Damon here for a cool art for kids. Look, a parrot perched on my shoulder. How did he get there? He just flew on there. He's my buddy, and I've got another buddy right here, much larger version, more like a macaw, right? This is more like what you think of when you think of a real parrot. But this guy could perch on my shoulder too because it also has a clip right here. So what I'm gonna show you today is, stay, stay there, is how to make one of these perching parrots. But first, I'm gonna take off this annoying patch because I'm seeing double right now. Oh boy, wow, that's a killer. Okay, as soon as my eyes focus, we're gonna get right down to work. Um, if you happen to purchase one of my perching parrot packets by emailing me, um, then you'll kind of know what I'm talking about already. But this takes you through step by step on how you can do this. So let's refocus this guy and bring him down to where you can see my working table surface. There, good enough. That's about where we want that, right? So uh, you don't have to look at me anymore. You're just gonna get right into the project. So if you get your pack, it'll probably come in a manila envelope like this and it will have a clip. It will have assorted colors of foam which you can also buy at Michael's or any craft store, but at mine comes with enough to make probably two regular sized parrots. Inside we have a direction sheet, which I'm gonna go through right now anyway, and also a template sheet with everything you need to know about cutting out the templates and creating the parrot out of foam. Let me throw that aside right now. Don't need any of that stuff. So. Once you get the foam out and you have your templates like this, you're going to have to, yeah, you're going to have to do the work. You're going to have to carefully cut this out. By the way, this project is meant for like third grade and above. And even third grade in my class had a little trouble with the, with the exact cutting of this. Some kids did it perfectly. Other kids are in a big rush. Their parents didn't look so high. But uh, third grade in and up, and up, unless you have an adult who's gonna help you with the cutting and the putting together and the whole thing. Okay, so we got this. We're gonna cut out our templates. When they get all cut out, you will have uh, a wing pattern, looks a little bit like this. You will have a wing cap pattern that looks like this. You will have a tail pattern. You'll have a whole lot of little patterns. You'll have a, another wing pattern because birds have two wings. You'll have a body pattern that looks something like this and some eye patterns and beak patterns, and I'll show you as we go along. Um, you may need some of the little universal clips that we used when we did our, um, what's his name? The beautiful, inventive um, geodesic dome guy. Bucky, Bucky, that's who, Bucky Minster Fuller, and we use these clips to hold together our geodesic dome. Sorry about that. Pirates don't need enough whatever stuff it is to keep their mind spinning, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so I'm gonna cut all these out. I've already pre-cut some of these to speed up the process. So these will come out easily and I won't have to take forever to do this. So we're gonna go boom, boom, like that. We're gonna go like this. Can you see what's happening? So there we go. Got one wing cut out, just like that. Trim that excess off. Take your time, do it slowly. I generally do this pretty quickly because I'm used to doing this. Okay. Wing number two, bada bing. Carefully on the lines. The foam cuts so easily, it's just like cutting butter. Um, so sometimes I cut them away from the big piece and then cut the smaller pieces out. Get this wing cap done. As soon as I have all the parts done, I will start to assemble and you'll see once all this hard work is done, how easy it is to create your own perching parrot. Is my guy still on my shoulder? Sometimes they lose their grip and slide off. Depending on the kind of fabric in your shirt, you want to gather the fabric up and then squeeze the paper clip, paper clip, close pin around the fabric so he grabs onto the fabric. Um, here's another guy right here. I've got him perching on my wife's plant. So you can put these guys anywhere you want. Tree branches, dowel rods. He's just on a little pencil that I've shoved down into the dirt of the soil here. So there's, whoops, there's that guy. So you can see him. Um, let me continue cutting out the pieces here. 
I've got the what I call the front piece or the breast piece. Probably the hardest piece to put on the bird, but I'll show you how to do that very effectively when we get to that. All right, here comes the body. And again, see, I'm slowly and deliberately cutting out my foam. So I have nice, smooth edges on the edges of my foam and there's no tears. And also what's mostly important on the bird, making sure this half of his head is the exact mirror image of that. So that when they come together, they meet exactly like that. And that's what kind of creates the body that stands up. Now we're not gonna glue it yet, but remember that. Try to make these heads equal size and as close to being the same size as possible. That really helps. Okay, a couple more pieces and I'll be done. The tail, I already have this part way cut out. By the way, the tail and the feathers on the wings and all those other details, you don't have to use my templates. Some kids prefer to do it that way so that theirs come out really well. But sometimes you can wing it and uh, make up your own tail feather and your own side wings and things. Okay, so there's my tail and it's gonna go down here just like that in just a minute, but we're not ready for that quite yet. A few more things to cut out. Um, for the eyes on the bird, some people just take like Cheerios or Fruit Loops and instead of eyes like this, they just put a Cheerio there, hot glue gun it on, or a Fruit Loop, a colorful Fruit Loop looks kind of cute. So I'm gonna put him back in this plant right now. Get in there. Okay, hang out, just hang out. All right. But the eyes I'm putting on this parrot are a little fancier. And uh, I want to show you one thing about when you cut these guys out. Uh, bump. Right here. Can you see how it's drawn from the pattern? And I think uh, on my kit, yeah, in my kit, it shows a little dotted line right there. Right there. See it? So you can actually cut right with your scissors to make that opening for where the, the eye is going to be. So I'm going to do that right now. Boop, and then I, it makes it easier to get in there. You know, you don't have to poke your scissors right through the foam. It's a little bit hard to do. Okay, there, that guy. And we need two of these, one for each side of his head. I'm going to speed up my cutting a little bit so I'm almost got everything cut out. Again, take your time. You don't have to speed just because I'm doing it fast for the video. I'm just doing it this way so I don't spend all your time having you watch me cut out pieces. Everything that I cut out, I've done really, really exactly. As close to the sketched, uh, the drawn template tracing. Okay, it's the second eye opening. And then voila. We've done most of our cutting. We need a beak. Damon, there's a beak pattern. I don't know, but I have a beak cut out ahead of time. There's my beak. That's what that looks like. Um, again, when you get the packet and you read the directions, all this will make more sense. Plus, if you watch the video while you do it, that'll even be better. Okay. Sorry. Coffee break. Oh, yeah. That's good. Got me moving. My one vice. Okay, here we go. I have a hot gun, hot gun, hot glue gun at the ready. Already plugged in, already heated up. Um, if you're younger and you're not used to a hot glue gun, please have, oh, say this more sincerely, please have an adult help you with this because these things do leave nasty blisters and burns. So be very, very careful with the hot glue gun. Use a low temp one and have an adult around while you join this. Okay, here we go. First step, a little glue in the middle. Oh, my glue is a different color. I don't know why, it'll still work. Let go, glue, it's icky. Okay, see how much I've got in there? Actually, that's good because you can see it. And then I'm gonna squish that together and hold that for a while. And did you notice that the glue is mostly in the center of that? 
because I want to leave all this part open. Can you see how I can get down in here? Because I want to put my beak in there and I want to put uh, maybe some kind of a head. This See how this guy has some stuff sticking out of him? So I want to, sh I shoved that down in there and then I re it better. But right now my two heads, you see how important it is that the two heads match so they don't, they don't look sloppy and overlap too much. And that helps keep this shape, which is the shape which helps, see, he can stand up just like that. Ordinarily, a few pieces of bone might go bloop like that, but he can stand up well because he's got that shape. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is throw on the feather. I hope I'm gonna, let me see if I can change my glue eventually because that is an ugly color. Hopefully it doesn't show through. Now, you can put the tail on the outside like so, or you can put the tail on the inside like so. Either way works. On this guy, he's on the outside. See how I let go. See how I did him on the outside there? Okay, just gonna lay you there because I'm tired of trying to reattach you every time I turn around. There we go, lay down. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna put this one on the inside. Again, it doesn't take a ton of glue. And I don't know where I got this glue from, but it is really annoying me. Okay, inside, there we go. Starting to look more bird-like, isn't it, right? It's got a floppy tail there. Got extra glue, I don't know. Here we go, now, I made the wings a different color purposely so that it'll add some interest to the bird. So, here we go, it can go like that, right? My big fat hands are in the way. It can go like that. I think I kind of like it like that right there. Okay, so I'm gonna glue that in place. Give me a second. Again, uh, I'm gonna put glue right in the middle. Oh, no wonder this isn't working. Ah, uh, there we go. Do it like this. And right up here near the head is the shoulder of the bird. On a real bird, that's about right where, where it would be. Okay, there's that one. Now I'm gonna put the other one on the other side. Um, a little more of this wonderful glue. There he comes. Okay. Come on, Mr. Uh, next time I'll get a better glue gun, right? Oh, I did it on the wrong side. Okay, if that happens, no problem. I'm gonna disguise it anyway. Here we go. Okay, so now we got both wings on. Here's the wing caps. They can be a contrasting color as well, but I happen to make mine the same sort of screaming yellow. Okay. Okay. I may have, you know it would be smart? I have a backup glue gun. It would be real smart but I don't, so I'm gonna continue with this ridiculous thing that doesn't seem to be working very well. Hey there, mateys, and pardon me for the interruption of your regularly scheduled video on Perching Parrots, but watch for Perching Parrots 2 coming up very shortly, and you might have a chance to win a Perching Parrot kit like this creature right here, or perhaps one like this, the smaller size, with the clip-on clip, there he is. Ain't he a beauty? She's kind of cute, too. Ah. So stay tuned. If you are the very first viewer in the continental United States and you email me at damonsart3 at gmail.com, if you're the very first one, I will send you a perching parakeet absolutely free. My word is the bloody pirate that I am. Have a great day. Watch that video.